Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle where we take a group of mods surrounding one similar theme and put them all into a nice list for you guys here in one video. Now today we are tackling weapon mods, specifically some of my favorite weapon mods, mods that I just can't live without. Mods that when I run into them in my game, I can't help but picking one up and adding it to my character immediately. So that is the criteria today, ones that I truly believe are some really top quality mods. And I mean that, every mod in this list is one that I think shows great quality and a ton of features and is worth putting into your game no matter who you are. Not only that, but every mod in this video is available for not only PC, but Xbox as well, so everybody can get their hands on these and try them out for themselves. There's a lot of classics on here, as well as some relatively new ones, so let's go ahead and dive in with the first mod, and that's going to be the 10mm SMG by Cypher. This is going to add in a classic version of the 10mm SMG that we know from past games like Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, and I always love the design of that weapon, and now we can have it again here in Fallout 4. There's a couple of mods actually that do add in the 10mm SMG, this one just happens to be my favorite. I really like the style of it, the custom animations, and a lot of the attachments available for this thing are really cool as well. Now this weapon makes for a great early game SMG as it has the same base damage of the 10mm pistol and starts spawning in the world at level 5, which is pretty immersive that the 10mm pistol and the 10mm SMG share the same damage since they are in the same caliber, except this one is going to be nice and fully automatic. Even though the vanilla Fallout 4 10mm pistol can also be fully automatic, I definitely prefer it in SMG form. Altogether, this makes for a nice little mod package. This is one of my favorite weapons to pick up in Fallout New Vegas, and I'm really happy that I get to enjoy it in Fallout 4 as well. And it recently got an Xbox port so that you Xbox users can use it too, which is really awesome. I recommend checking this one out. It's really neat. A nice little cross between some real-world attachments and a classic Fallout gun. I couldn't recommend this one enough. Moving on, we have a classic that I've talked about quite a few times on the channel before, and that is the Hunting Shotgun by Deadpool 2099, another classic weapon from Fallout, specifically Fallout New Vegas. This is going to add a nice pump action shotgun into the game, which has got to be one of my favorite forms of shotgun. It may not be the most effective, obviously a semi-automatic mag-fed shotgun is going to perform a lot better, but there's just something special about a pump action shotgun. It's really nice and it has some beautiful custom animations and of course has bullet counted reload support, which is awesome. This is another weapon that will have levelless integration, so you'll be able to find it out in the world, specifically on Raiders and Gunners, and even the occasional settler here and there. This shotgun will start spawning at level 8, and even has two unique versions, which is pretty awesome. It has the Dinner Bell Unique, which we will recognize from Fallout New Vegas, which does more damage against animals. And then we have the Manhunter, which is essentially the same variant, except this time it does more damage against human enemies, which is going to prove to be a lot more effective in combat. You can pick up the Dinner Bell over in Lynn Woods, and you can grab the Manhunter down in the sewers outside of Diamond City. All of the weapons included in this pack are top notch and I really like every single one of them and the attachments are excellent as well. You can really customize this thing to be the exact kind of pump action shotgun you want along with a handful of skins for the different furniture options which make this thing a really nice package. If you haven't tried this one out and you're looking for a pump action shotgun for your game, this is the one I'd recommend before any other mod. Now the next mod is one that I like a whole lot and that is the HKG3 Family by Eutherian. This mod is wonderful for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's really high quality, it has wonderful custom animations, but also it has so much customizability that it essentially includes four mods in one. It is the G3 platform, but you can convert this thing into a standard G3, an HK-51 SMG, the PSG-1 sniper rifle, or even an HK-11 LMG. The possibilities are pretty crazy with this mod, not to mention there's a bunch of skins that you can add on and a bunch of really cool attachments that just let you customize this thing to the exact purpose that you need it to do. But on top of all of that, there's a specific setup of parts that you can use to turn this weapon into the R91 Assault Rifle, which is by far my favorite variation because you know that I love me some classic Fallout weapons. In terms of balance, the thing is going to have a similar damage profile to the vanilla Assault Rifle and will start spawning in the world after level 15. So overall, the versatility of this weapon makes it an excellent choice for just about any load order. You can argue this thing as lore friendly or even into a modern load order. So it's really up to you whether or not you want this in your game, but I highly recommend this one. If you're looking for an assault rifle and you can only afford one in terms of space, this is the one that I'd recommend right off the bat. This thing is absolutely amazing. So many options. It's all in all just an amazing job. Big shout out to Eutherian for having this thing available for us to download. Up next, let's talk about some bigger guns. 
We're going to be looking at the anti-materiel rifle by the Fallout 4 New Vegas team. This is going to add in the classic anti-materiel rifle from Fallout New Vegas that we know and love, complete with custom animations, a bunch of cool attachments, and just that sweet look of the weapon that we're all so familiar with. This was the absolute pinnacle of endgame weapons in Fallout New Vegas, and now you can experience it once again in Fallout 4, which is great because the amount of 50 caliber options that we have in Fallout 4 are very limited. This is now my go-to endgame sniper rifle. I know that when I create a character with this mod installed at the end of the game, I am looking for this sniper so that I can use it at long ranges. But of course you do need to be careful as this thing is added to the level list so not only will you be able to find it, you're going to find it on enemies so they will be shooting this thing back at you and it does pack quite a punch. Not to mention it has some pretty interesting ammo attachments to make it even more powerful. At its core this thing is a very heavy sniper rifle though you can do some strange modifications at the weapons workbench including a snub barrel and iron sights in case you want this thing to be a bit more mobile and uh, I guess we'll say versatile. That being said, it's not really going to change the functionality of the weapon, it's still going to be a pretty heavy bolt action, so I'd recommend using this thing at long ranges and using one of the other weapons on this list as a backup. Either way, this is an excellent mod and a really, really wonderful one. A quick note for the links down in the description below, every other mod is going to have a Nexus link, but this one, you'll actually need to head over to the Fallout 4 New Vegas Discord to get your hands on it. So, I went ahead and dropped their public invite link down below, go ahead and click that and head over to the public release section of their Discord, so that you can download this one as well as the Colt Single Action Army. They're both available there, not on the Nexus. Up next, we have one of my all-time favorite weapon platforms in real life, so I of course have to have a version of it in Fallout 4, and that is going to be the Springfield Armory M1A by FX0X01, Fear, Navarro, and Luchador Dev. This is going to add a very customizable M1A or M14 that I love a lot. This weapon platform is awesome, and you can do a whole lot with it. It's going to be a lot less tactical compared to something like the Mark 14 EBR, but it does still have some modern tactical parts. And you know me for being the guy who likes lore friendly classic style weapons, but this is one that I always make an exception for because I just love the M1A. And there are attachments that allow you to make a more civilian style of the weapon with wood furniture and nice scope. You can actually use this thing as a pretty lore friendly rifle, though those modern attachments are there if you want them as well. This kind of falls in the same boat as the G3 family to me, where you can kind of place it in any load order, just stick to whichever attachments you prefer. Or stop caring about lore friendliness, throw on a red dot and have fun. When it comes to acquiring this weapon, you will be prompted immediately after downloading this mod with a menu that will allow you to choose to either start a quest, add the item directly into your inventory, or just add it straight up to the leveled list so that you can go out and find it. It's really up to you how you choose. If you do the quest, you'll have to actually go and find the weapon, and then after that, it will be added to the leveled list, or you can just add them straight to the leveled list where you can start finding it out in the world on enemies and vendors. Or alternatively, you can just cheat and have it go directly into your inventory, like I did for the purposes of this video. Personally though, when I'm running it in my own game, I choose the level list option as I like finding it and discovering it on a random enemy. It makes it feel a lot more rewarding, like I actually had to work for it. But that is all completely up to you. Highly recommend this weapon, it works great as a mid to long range battle rifle. Definitely a wonderful one and a good use of your 308 bullets. Highly recommend this one, excellent work by the whole team that worked on this mod. Now, I know the title says five weapon mods, but I did add a bonus sixth mod. If you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you're wondering how could Dak make a five weapons he can't live without and not throw the service rifle on there? Well, I figured you'd assume the service rifle would be on this list, and so I wanted to give you five mods that weren't the service rifle. But now we're going to take time for a bonus mod, which is, of course, the service rifle by Deadpool 2099. This is by far one of my favorite mods, period. It's so good, I've always loved the service rifle. It's one of the things that actually got me hooked on Fallout, weirdly enough. Seeing a fully wooden furniture M4 platform in Fallout New Vegas, I just loved that. It made me fall in love with the style of New Vegas and the style of Fallout as a whole, as that's typically how they treat a lot of their weapons. Classic wood furniture because of the resource wars, it's such a neat concept, and that's why I love the service rifle. And I personally think that Deadpool's service rifle is the best service rifle mod that we have. I love this thing a lot, it has really awesome attachments, I love the ability to rechamber this thing, I love that it has junk parts that raiders would throw together, it feels so immersive and so realistic and something that actually feels like it fits in Fallout. I think this is one of the best weapon mods that we have available. Some people will disagree, that's why opinions exist, but 
this one is by far my favorite. It's added to the leveled list, of course. It has so many uniques that you could find that are all truly unique. There's Gauss variants, there's radiation variants, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. I love this mod, I love it to death, it is amazing. I think it has some of the coolest features of any weapon mods, and there's just so much content in one nice package. If you haven't tried out this service rifle, do yourself a favor and go try it out. Of course, it comes with custom animations, not only one, but a bunch of custom animations depending on which rechamber you use as they're all going to have different magazines. There's a ton of customizability, the way that you upgrade the weapon is really neat, and there's a ton of skins and stickers. You can really make this your own weapon, which is so awesome. And of course, like all the other mods in this list, it's available for PC and Xbox. So if you want to try any of these mods out for yourself, they will all be linked down in the description below as always. While you're there, you can go ahead and check out the Patreon if you're at all interested. If you want to support this channel a little extra, you can go and check that out. You get special Discord roles as well as early access to my mods. For example, today, all of the Tier 2 users are getting an early copy of my Lever Action Shotgun to do a nice little beta test and to get their hands on it early. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, go check it out there, but it is completely optional. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!